Moving on to the purchase invoice in the transaction section, just select voucher type as purchase invoice. So you just can select the voucher number and the vendor invoice number. You can just go and you can set the voucher date and invoice date and select whether it's cash or party. And if a new party has to be added, just press plus button and you just can give the new party details. And here you can just select purchase mode against which we are giving this purchase invoice. So here I'm doing against purchase order. So I just selected it out there and voucher type I selected as purchase order and order number is also selected from that which is already predefined. So in the list you can see the product details. So which is uh, which are when I give the product code, the details of the product has come and the, in the left side if any tax this has to be given according to the voucher type and details tax will be shown out there. So if any discount allowed it will be given and the amount will be given out there and under you can see the grand total of this and the bill amount if you want to save it just press save button so it will be saved successfully and if you want to do any addition on that jet just double click on that so it will go into the addition mode and the addition will be done if you want to add any new voucher just give new voucher name and just give the same details as I just told before there is a voucher type can be selected purchase mode can be selected Receipt voucher number number are can be selected and the tax details everything can be given like that. Likewise, you can just give if any unit or go down or anything and be given and the amount grand total you can see down and just save it successfully. And after that, you just then close it and go to the register next. So you can see all the details out there in the register. Just press purchase invoice from the register. So in the register, you can see all the details one by one. And if you want to do any search, you can search from date to two date or filter accordingly and according to the cash or party you can select and according to the voucher type also you just can filter the data and one by one you can see all the data out there and if you want to just view all the details just press view details you can see all the details and if you want to do any updation just double click onto the specific product or details so it will go to the updation mode and if any data to be given out there or any discount or anything can be given just give that and press update so it will be updated successfully